Hey everybody, Uncle Wooly here for some more Dad and Boy, I mean God of War Ragnarok. Hopefully your week is progressing well because it's Wednesday, we're halfway through. K-Squared, good to see you. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in to Wednesday and God of War, and well, it is the very last day of November, which means uh, I need to drink the last of this pumpkin ale. So we're going to do Pumpkin, and it's the Nitro version by Southern Tier. And I love their uh, their Pumpkin logo on this. Uh, I do have to say, though, that my Pumpkin glass is dirty. Uh, so we're going to have to go with uh, the Warlock glass tonight. But still Southern Tier, so I think they can maybe forgive me for that. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. How is everyone? Boy, that nitro's got some kick on that can. My gosh. <laughs> My gosh. And I have been listening to the Christmas music. I am totally down with the mood. <laughs> it's the evilness escaping out of that. I know you don't like pumpkin, but uh, come on, Jared. Come on, Jared. How's it going, dude? How is your Wednesday? I'm very excited for tomorrow because I get to start cracking into my BrewDog advent calendar. That is right. So keep a lookout on socials and in the Discord. I'm gonna be posting a beer every day for the next 24 days because uh, that's how I'm celebrating Christmas, okay? <laughs> that's how I'm doing it. I don't know how anybody else does, but uh, that's how we're doing it around here. All right. 
boy. That's uh, almost a perfect pour on this thing. Right up to the top of the glass. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Good to see you. Oh, that's tasty. That is a tasty beer. Enjoy the seasonal goodness. Jared, do you have any seasonal favorites when it comes to beers? Any uh, holiday ales or uh, stouts or porters, anything like that you enjoy this time of year? Likewise with anybody else. I know that uh, a lot of places put out uh, holiday type beverages. Uh, I do enjoy Old Fezziwig from uh, Sam Adams. I haven't had that one in quite a while. And also, if anybody here is a Costco member, I think they do like a, a advent calendar for beer there as well. And I think it's all German beers this year. I can't speak to previous years, but I think this year it's all German beers, which sounds pretty awesome. Well, enough about me, enough about beers. Uh, let's get on with our journey with Dad and Boy and God of War Ragnarok. Here we go. Mm, beer. Mmm, beer. Jared, uh, send me a message. Let me know what you want for your custom sound, and we'll get that uh, put in before the next stream. And then you should just uh, be able to just do a command like ex exclamation Jared, and you'll be able to play it anytime you choose to. Let's continue on with the story here. I'm excited. Oh, Lucy, are you finally in the camera? Can you say hello to everybody tonight? Ah, there you are. Can you say King hello? Shark is a shark. <laughs> Just like that. Um, it does have a cooldown. It will have a cooldown. But other than the cooldown time period, uh, yeah, you can spam it. <laughs> Hi, doggos. Did you say hi to everybody? Did you say hello? Lucy, did... Aww. Are you tired? Is that it? Okay. <laughs> that was a big yawn for a little doggo. Just a big yawn for a little doggo. Yeah, good girls. Welcome in, Wimpy, by the way. Thanks for the king shark. Cheers, my friend. Hopefully you're doing well. Happy Wednesday. All right, we are going to get going to uh, Alfheim. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Here. You know uh, I do like Ratatasker, though. Ratatasker. So, this whole <laughs> spectral squirrel business. You can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant <laughs> way. Hey, Raven. It. These spectral Welcome versions in. of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines, all part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My <laughs> spectral forms still allow me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, lit freak. <laughs> <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? Please come back anytime. This is fun. <laughs> you got your 105th uh, platinum and now working on God of War 3. Can we get some GGs in chat for Wimpy? That's impressive, dude. That is heckin' impressive. Uh, and Raven. <laughs> how, how goes the Elden Rings? And Pizza, welcome in as well. My gosh, thanks for the confetti. I am already here, <laughs> Master Kratos. Oh, that's fun. I was wondering if he was gonna say anything about it. This is for calling me out here, not for when I am... <laughs> Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. 
Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. Yes. It is a talking squirrel. <laughs> ah, the sound of the chimes is not unpainful at this distance, so perhaps you <laughs> could not? Okay, I'm done. I'm done spamming it. I just want to see what the squirrel said. Ratatosker, yeah. <laughs> But I'm doing quite well, Pizza. How was your How was your birthday on Monday? when you are, Father. Unless you was your birthday? first. No, keep going. Okay, okay. There's more. Already here, as it were. So. All right, Strefty. I see you're deliberately attempting to push me into some sort of emotional outburst, aren't you? Well, I'm not so easily swayed, my good man. Stop with the stupid chime! Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. Oh, perfect. I am already here. Uh, that's perfect. I love it. I love it. I love how they knew. They knew that characters were going to just rip the heck out of it. Oh, that is that is wonderful. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. What a good game. Had a good day. Uh, Ape started getting pretty sick that day, but uh, still had a nice day, unfortunately. We both tested. Uh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Can we get some hearts in chat for uh, Pizza and Ape? Wishing you the very best, and hopefully you get well soon. I'm sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that, friends. That is no good. Your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. That is no I'm good. The first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. We seemed better in Alphon. Huh. Did they now? Did they? Nope. We ran right through it. Here we go. Oh, the return to Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Grow a Shrine. Snag. I see the other snag. I'm a snag. I'm a slithery little snake and snag. I see you sneaking in there, Arthur. Welcome in. Welcome in, friend. Hopefully, you're doing as well as can be, and uh, always good to see you. Ooh, is it something over there? Can I do something with that? Nope. Shoot. Ah, uh, bean boozled. I will get you that bean pizza. Let's get that bean. Let's get that bean. Here I was, you know, leaving it on the shelf just in case, you know. I was like, maybe nobody's going to do a bean. Maybe. Actually, on a laptop. Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah. What if they made a pizza-flavored bean? Uh, they might. I wouldn't put it past Jelly Belly. All right, we got peach or barf, and that might be the last uh, peach or barf one in the box. It might be it. So here we go. Go over here for you. Here's your bean. Nah. Nah. Oh. <laughs> That's a gross old bean there, pizza. It was a big old, big old bit of barf.
Thank you for that. Uh, Alter, Alter Raider. Am I saying that right? Welcome in. Thanks for the confetti. I'm hard. No. Storms Thanks for the confetti. Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. The living desert. Huh. Hmm. It was once full of life, you know, and music. Welcome in. Uh, good to see you. My name's Uncle Wooly. And just a quick introduction here. We do Dark Souls 2 on Monday nights. Wednesdays, we've been doing God of War Ragnarok and Friday mornings. Song of the Sands. Bright and early, we do a little bit of uh, Final Fantasy with Final Fantasy Fridays. Currently working our way through the pixel remaster of Final Fantasy 4, which I might say is just wonderful. I am really loving that game so far. <laughs> Definitely welcome in. If I don't know you from anywhere, um, might I ask how you found the channel? Always, always curious how people find their way to this corner of Twitch. Hold on. I hear something out there. I like your uh, <laughs> your Tom Cruise emote there. That is a lot of fun. <laughs> Ooh, hey. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Oh, Nothing this is a Blades of Chaos. Comfort, the Dark Elves get on best they can. All right, here's one over here. There we go. Either raided a while ago or you were in their chat. Only just decided, hey, well, welcome in. Welcome in. Very nice to meet you. Glad to see you here. And I'm sure one day I might figure it out, but uh, my short-term memory is pretty awful, so <laughs> if I don't remember at the moment, chances are I Perhaps might not remember. Easier from above. Uh, let's see here. All those bats are cool. Is there one up there? Or do we got to go around? And yeah, maybe we gotta go around. And around and around and around and around. There. The Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. There we go. Nope, I don't need to go down there. Or maybe I do. Oh, yep, yeah, I guess I do. Good eye. Bye, there we go. Eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no one your chest. We'll be right along. <laughs> My dad likes loot. Huh. He does enjoy loot. That is true. <laughs> you enjoy the loot. Ooh, I like that Ori emote too. Oh, from Rain. I know Rain. And I made a uh may have came in from uh the Joe and Tay raid over to Lianchi. Maybe that's how I know you as well. If you're familiar with Lianchi's channel. Aha, you've made the connection. You've made the connection for Freyer me. I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate that. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? <laughs> yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> This looks a lot different than the Alfheim that uh, we had been to before. But then again, it is in Fimble Winter. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Reflect an axe Majestic, throw. isn't it? Occasionally, Ooh. the light of Alfheim okay. will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. Nice. Very clever. This is really cool. 
And again, I'll just uh, go ahead and give a spoiler warning too. This is a new game, and so if anybody hasn't played uh, the 2018 God of War or this one, uh, just know that there will be spoilers tonight. It's gonna explode. Enjoy your lurk pizza. It's so good to see you. And uh, if I don't see you back here, uh, definitely get feeling better. That goes for both you and Ape. Sorry that uh, the both of you aren't I'm doing well at the moment. Arth, that's a huge spoiler, dude. Impressive. <laughs> Oh, exploding wretch. Uh, it's a good thing. Good thing we didn't uh, get hit by that thing. Already seen the cutscenes, so no worries. I uh, don't usually mind spoilers anyway. Well, that's uh, that's good. But uh, cheers, cheers, nonetheless. So glad to have you here. All right, let me read this thing. Really need to trim my mustache. It's getting in my beer again. Uh, Kvasir, work of brilliance that, if misunderstood, proves the ignorance of the reader. Stick, rope. Tar, black. Skin, handprint. Baby, crying. Shower, stink. Death, beach. Grubs, delicious. Bomb, piss. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a second, did that sound alert not go through? What's going on here? Sound alerts, what are you doing? Uh, let me see if I can refund your points there. We'll go ahead and refund your points and let me see if I can get that one to go for you. If I didn't know better, I think you had feelings for me. I didn't know better. Okay. Let me try the uh, redemption now and see if that works. That was... Sunbro? Where are you, Sunbro? There we are. If I didn't know better, I think you had feelings for me. Not sure why that didn't work the first time. Sorry about that. I guess uh, sound alerts needed a little bit of a wake up. Oh, sound alerts. What are you doing? Messing with me tonight. Oh, I, I love how well uh, Solaire was voiced in that game. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? Oh, I was getting uh, to it. You did? Here is all the way oh, ahead of no. us here. <laughs> uh, there should be. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Oh. We're the ones who freed the light. Oh, we get to fight the light elves this time. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Alphonse. <laughs> yeah, it's not a fun place, Atreus. Oh, hello. Okay. Ooh, double tap. I'm gonna have to get used to that now. Oh. Is that a 
Okay. Alright, let's go. Uh, want your game to be fun? How silly. <laughs> How silly. Okay. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Should have maybe done some more exploration back there, but it'll have to wait. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? This charm is meant to absorb nightmares. The principle behind such magic is not a local one, but a theory picked up by Tyr from the Western lands. The premise is a simple one. Nightmares seek us out in the dark, hoping to crawl into our minds and corrupt them from within. Charms such as these, such as this, are meant to distract and trap the nightmares, tangling them up in the charm's threads until sunrise can incinerate the devious... Here we go. Charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't oh. think we have the right tools for this one. All right. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. Yep, that's what it sounds like, is a uh, dream catcher. Elves, but it looks like it's I'll go first. Betray Gotta kill some giant robots before dinner gets here. Might be back later. Has fun with the data boring. Hey, Arthur, so good to see you. Have a wonderful night if we don't see you back. And can we get some hearts in chat for Arthur, please? So good to see you, friend. Have a wonderful dinner, and hopefully we'll see you again. Let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? <clears throat> this seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, yeah, that's halfway. Unfortunately for Alfheim, oh, Freyr that's couldn't cool. accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left... Oh, I enjoy the, uh, I enjoy the holiday emotes there, Arthur. Those are fun. I like the Grinch one, too. It's a lot of fun. Oh, those are all uh, Selena's emotes. That is cool. Thanks for sharing. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Oh, hey, there we go. Fine nice. work, Atreus. Nice. Shall we? We shall. Uh, I hope I don't have What's to fight that. Statue doing in the light temple? That's just how they looked before the division. The division? Yes. The elves weren't always split between light and dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. That would mean Tyr went to the Native American mythology too. Still uh, surprised me how many... Yes. Yep. And it's so cool that uh, Tyr is kind of that uh, dude that went to other cultures and mythologies and uh, pantheons, Solid if you will. Light. Yes, some things don't change. Uh, Tyr is a cool dude. Hey, Ash. Welcome in. 
If you have a preferred nickname or preferred pronouns, feel free to share those in chat. I want to make sure you feel welcome. Above the door. And uh, that applies to you as well, uh, Alter Raider. But welcome in. Yes. My name is Uncle Wooly, and this is my first playthrough of God of War Ragnarok. What's that right. sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Alt is fine. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, let's see here. Oh, you can get across that way. Anything to explore? Mm, not really. Ash is fine. Perfect. Well, welcome in. Uh, welcome in, Ash. I'm not sure if I know you from another channel or if you, uh, how you found this little spot like of Twitch, so but, uh, welcome in. Aye. Nice to Fet meet you. Winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Ah. That's cool. I could just stay here all day and look at this. This is beautiful. Uh, browsing God of War. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Well, glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. I do a little bit of uh, different games throughout the week. So Dark Souls 2 is my current Monday night game. And then Friday mornings, bright and early, we do Final Fantasy Friday. Uh, currently working through the Pixel Remaster of Final Fantasy 4. So that's kind of uh, what the channel schedule looks like at the at the current moment. But definitely welcome in. And thanks for the new follow. That is much appreciated. Uh, the Well of Souls thing, I remember it from Darksiders 2. Why did it take me so long? I don't know if I played that. Uh, alt. But now I'm going to have to look up some still images to see uh, what that looks like. Uh, ooh, you love Souls games. Uh, I am currently working through the series. I haven't played Elden Ring yet, Ash. So I am. I started with Demon Souls Remake. Hey, Red Shen. Welcome in. Very good to see you. Uh, cheers, my friend. Hopefully you're doing well. But I started with the Demon Souls remake uh, in January, and then I played through that. I played through Dark Souls 1. Started that in June and finished around, I think, August. And then I'm currently on Dark Souls 2. I'm going to move on to Dark Souls 3, hopefully beginning of January, and then do Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne before I do Elden Ring. So that's kind of uh, the current schedule for that, current idea anyway. Red Shen, how the heck are you? It has been a while. It has been a while. Hopefully you're doing well. It's so very good to see. You. Well done. Though I imagine our light elf friends will be less than pleased. Well, if they wouldn't block the doors with their dang crystals. Uh, the main games of Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, and Bloodborne also beat the DLC of 1. Uh, two Dark Souls 2 DLCs and Bloodborne DLC. Nice. Um, <clears throat> my plan is to do all the DLCs as well. I did the DLC for Dark Souls 1, and I'm currently on one of the Dark Souls 2 DLCs. I think it's the Sunken King, and I plan to do those before I finish the, the main game. <clears throat> Excuse me. Had a bit of a frog in my throat there. Uh, missed you. I've been busy cooking hot dish before we sit down for Willow. I am very excited for that series. You're going to have to let me know what you think. Because I've heard, uh, heard good things. We're currently watching Wednesday. And we've been enjoying it. Wednesday has been quite good so far. Let me try talking to them again. They may. just to let these two do their thing, brother. Watch your left! Oh. Not good. Not good. Oh, 
There we go. A squared, enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your lurk. It's so good to have you here. Ooh, hey, there we go. All right. Maybe you can throw those back at them. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe. Oh, hello. Hello now. Uh, Wednesday was amazing, and after and or Willow fills the time, happy for that. Dang, I haven't watched any and or yet. Uh, I've heard good things, but uh, I just haven't, uh, haven't, haven't watched any. Uh, ended up quitting Dark Souls 2 before finishing the last DLC, just, uh, got fed up with it. Um, I've heard very similar about people's other, other people's experience with Dark Souls 2. But, uh... My first playthrough has been quite interesting, and it's definitely one that I want to do all bosses. It's kind of what I've been doing with my first playthrough, is all bosses and no summons. Because I hate myself. <laughs> um, but don't take that as me judging anybody that uses summons, uh, because I do not judge anybody that uses summons. Is the Star Wars we need in these trying times? Uh, so good, but a very serious drama. Excellent. Let's go. There we go. Yeah, come on, Tyr. Last one. I'm glad that one just uh, stayed back here and just kind of minded its own business. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, hello. That's nice. That's nice. I use summons usually. It's just because I either enjoy it or like the character. Yes. So that's the one core experience of Dark Souls 1 that I missed out on, was uh, summoning Solaire. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, shrine away. Well, I have loot to get. I need to see if I can find any loot. Nope. Anything up here? I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it. Okay, there we go. Can't help it. Loot is very alluring. It's also cool in Dark Souls 1 because he's such a chad that he can solo the Iron Golem. <laughs> oh, um, my experience with the Iron Golem was not fun because, and I'm very thankful that chat didn't spoil the bonfire there for me in Sense Fortress, but uh, I didn't find that bonfire. So what ended up happening is that I had to go through the full entirety of Sen's Fortress on each try of the Golem. Yeah, it was pretty rough. Not gonna lie. But it's kind of a fond memory because after that, I remember being so happy to see Anna Rolando. And then also to feel so discouraged at Anna Rolando. <laughs> Didn't find the shortcut either. Yeah, I didn't find the key, so I was unable to use the uh, the elevator system. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. Yeah, it was pretty rough. The further up we go. Great. It was pretty rough. Uh, but like I said, I'm very thankful to uh, have chat that doesn't spoil things. So, even though it was rough, I still gotta experience it the way. It was intended. <laughs> Bye, if you're not going to be a smart player, you're going to suffer. <laughs> uh, 
let's see here. Anything interesting this way? Bounce this. But where can I bounce it? Can I hit that raven from here? There we go. What? That didn't work? But you were unsuccessful. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. Thank you, Strufty. <laughs> Is it like a two-parter? Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice. That's pretty cool. Got to be some more loot down here. Ooh. I know it's not uncommon to hear the voices of those who have lost we have lost in the light, so I decided to run one little experiment. With the permission of the temple's guardian, of course, I was missing my beloved Estricur or Stricker, um, something terrible, and thought perhaps if I could hear him one last time I'd feel more at peace. I packed up some of my favorite or some of his favorite things, his blanket, the stuffed uh tetzel worm. I enchanted to squeak when squeezed, in an old drake bone with the teeth marks still imprinted, and set them down near the light to see if I could perhaps call to his soul. I sat quietly for some time. I called to him. It was very difficult to confirm, but after a while I swear I could hear the distinct sound of his paws on wood, gentle clicking from his nails, just the way they used to sound at home. They grew close. My heart beat faster in anticipation, but as soon as the sounds started, they faded, and I heard no more. Perhaps I will try again one day, but for now I will choose to believe he has found joy in the light and needs the comforts of his old life no more. I'm glad for him. That is so sad. That's a doggo. That was his favorite chew toys. Oh no. That is so sad. Have to bail. My favorite sports team is highly ranked and playing one of the other highly ranked sports ball teams. Enjoy the sports ball, Strufty. Good to see you, my friend. Let me get some hearts in chat for Strufty. Have a wonderful night with the sports ball, my friend. And, and take care. It's always good to see you, dude. Uh, let's see where... <laughs> I'll have to check out that game, uh, Alt, because I've heard good things. And of course, every gamer has their backlog that never gets shorter. Ooh, we get another rune attack. What's this one do? Embeds a fiery bomb. Ooh, heck yes. Oh, so those are both light runic attacks. Gotcha. Gotcha. Great series? Oh, right. I will have to do some research. About what era uh, did those come out? <laughs> I may have awakened the hornet's nest. No, that's fine. I'm always on the lookout for... Uh, new gaming experiences and so uh so i'm totally fine with that light to build doors and make themselves stronger what do the dark elves want with it to return it back to its source okay 360 ps3 era okay the natural resources of alfheim are sacred none more so than the light itself aye the light elf success came at a terrible price alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple all right, there is a crystal there. I doubt I can just hit it. There's more twilight stone up there. Aha. Here we go. Let's 
see. Do we need to be Twilight up there to hit it? The right angle. Are you certain? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. It's over here. <laughs> Came up here. Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Hey, Hegel. Welcome in. And it is a tasty beer. It's the uh, nitro version of the Pum King from Southern Tier. Which I felt it was fitting since we're uh, with Tyr, the Norse god of war. Spelled differently, of course. And it's the last day of November, so I feel like naturally it's the last day to get the pumpkin beer in well, before it's uh, unseasonal. Oh. Come on, there we go. Gotta be a better angle on that fire. Light elves ahead. I'll handle this. There we go. Uh, uh, 3 and Genesis are more recent, being on Xbox One and PS4. 1 and 2 were released again. Ooh, cool. So they're very accessible for playing. That's good to know. It is good to know. I hope to be half the father Kratos is. Uh, yeah, maybe a little more emotionally available to your kids uh, well, than Kratos. But, uh... <laughs> we mean you no harm. Here, get back. Alright, join him. Okay. Gotcha. There we go. Yeah. So I guess half as good would probably be uh, the right scenario to use <laughs> in this case. Yeah. Uh, friendly PSA, if anyone is still on Twitter. Uh... Oh, it got hacked today. Yikes. Yep. Better do that. Left flank. That is good to know, Red Chen. I appreciate the heads up. I missed the thing. Nope. <laughs> and I forgot to recall my axe, too. Here we go. Yeah, that's some good music. I agree. At least I tried. I get it now. I agree. Why they keep fighting? The uh, avoiding spoilers. Just wanted to see the drink. Oh, dude. Uh, don't worry about that. I totally understand. It's a it's a fairly new game, and uh, you know it hasn't come out on PC yet, so people haven't had a chance to play it. But uh, enjoy your night. Good to see you as always. And I'll lift a little cheers before you leave. Can we get some hearts in chat for Hegel, please? There we go. Good old cheers. Counter social. Uh, I did see your announcement in your Discord for that. I haven't heard about counter. So then, I suppose I probably should sign up for that too. So many new social media things out there. I think Hive and Mastodon are two other ones I heard about. I have used Hive a little bit, and it's okay. But the uh, I will say the Android app is very slow. Another chest over there. How do we reach it? We cannot. But they have a small and very responsive uh, support team, which is pretty cool. Ad free with higher security. Um, and no offense on that, ad free is wonderful. Uh, I'm just curious on their business model, um, how they're going to be able to maintain it. Is is my curiosity. Aye, none too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. Not that it's a bad thing to not have ads. But it's just always the question of, uh, of newer uh, social media platforms. Let's see. Does that give me an angle? Nope. Okay. Nope. Uh, 
Okay, I need that down to be able to... Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. It seems like the right angle. But I have to hold the this. Angle looks right. What part of this angle looks right to you? Atreus. Can I hit it from up there? That's the question. Uh, so far, the experience has been much better. That is good. Might have to check that out. Uh, okay. Up there. Okay, so I can't rotate it. So maybe it needs rotated. Why not simply hold it in place? But it doesn't work, Tear. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Hey, hey! That's my beer! That's my beer. You're more than welcome to grab one and chill out here. Emmy, thank you so much for that raid. And I know you have been working on God of War Ragnarok. Hopefully your experience is going well. I've been lurking because I've been avoiding spoilers, so I hope you understand. Uh, but welcome in, everybody. Raiders, my name is Uncle Wooly. I play Dark Souls 2 on Monday nights. Wednesdays, been, we've been working on God of War Ragnarok. And Friday mornings, bright and early, we play a little bit of Final Fantasy IV. But welcome in, and any of the Raiders, feel free to share your preferred nicknames and pronouns. I want to make sure you feel welcome here. Uh, Seven Zacks, welcome in. It's time to strike a pose. For the Vogue raid. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Christmas Crustacean. I love that username. Thank you for the hydration too, by the way. Big cheers. Who else do we have here? Who else came over from the raid? Uh, IR Mischief. Welcome in. Uh, Noriak Unknown 38. Uh, Curly Dancer. Welcome in. Good to see you all. Welcome, welcome in. Uh, my follows are anonymous here. Uh, so if you want to lurk, uh, feel free to do that. I don't want to bother you too much. But welcome in, everybody. Sorry to raid and dash. Uh, I let my stream overrun way too long. Well, it's easy to do with this game. It is so very good. Uh, got stuck in a boss fight for three hours, and I have work in about six hours. Definitely get your rest. <laughs> Thank you so very much for the raid. Can we get some big, big hearts and GGs in chat for Emmy as uh, she departs our company? Thank you, thank you, thank you for that huge heckin' raid. That is very much appreciated. Thank you for sharing your kind, kind folks over uh, with us. And also, any of the raiders, I suppose I should introduce my stream puppies as well. The one on the left is Roxy. She's a 13-year-old Jack Russell. The one on the right is, well, the little bit of her you can see is Lucy. She's a 4-year-old Shih Tzu. And they are infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So in between sightings of them, people mostly tolerate my <laughs> mediocre gameplay and terrible puns. But uh, yeah, they mostly stick around for the puppy. <laughs> Zax, enjoy your lurk. Nice to meet you. Oh, your parent's dog is named Roxy. That is an excellent dog name. Roxy is a wonderful name. And uh, Anxia, Leah, welcome in. How are you doing? I hope you're well. I'm doing quite well. And uh, do you have a preferred nickname, preferred pronouns, uh, Anxia, Leah? I want to make sure you feel welcome here. Uh, oh, yeah. Roxy is a good girl. Aren't you, Roxy? Oh, you're a little sleepy. That's okay. <laughs> that is A-OK. -okay. They are sleepy doggos sometimes, I tell you. Hope you don't mind. Have a fabulous rest of stream, Emmy. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for bringing your heckin' awesome raiders over. And have a wonderful night. Can we get some more hearts in chat for Emmy, please? Uh, mine are he, him. I appreciate that. I see you're also using the uh, pronoun plugin. 
Uh, so I'm able to see those uh, with Franker face in my chat. So thank you for using those. Uh, Raven, you got to head to bed as well. Have a wonderful night, my friend. Can we get some hearts in chat for Raven? And it looks like Red Shin's also lurking. So let's get some hearts in chat for them. My goodness. What in the world is going on here? Uh, Anxiolia, thank you so very much for that sub. That is much, much appreciated. Thank you so very much. Just enter chat and you're already subbing. That is uh, That means a whole heckin' lot. Can we get some cheers and hearts in chat? Do you prefer Leah for short? Um, if you have a preferred nickname, please let me know. Wimpy, thank you for wishing a good night to Raven. Take care, Raven. Are you doing uh, some more working out tomorrow, by the way? Uh, or are you going to need a little bit of break? Because Raven does Elden Gym, where they work out after every death. So for every death, there is a uh, forfeit wheel that they spin and do workouts. And yeah, <laughs> it is a lot. And they did 10 hours uh, the other day. So if you need to do some extra extra rest, I totally understand. <laughs> totally understand. And thank you for all those new follows, too. That is heckin' appreciated. All right. Now let's see if Wooly Brain can figure out this puzzle. Because, uh... You know what? Let's, uh... Oh, I bet I have to hit this into something over here. And then I can get... Not seeing anything. And again, my schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday is in the evening. Uh, Dark Souls 2 on Monday. Wednesday's God of War Ragnarok. And Fridays, bright and early, we do Final Fantasy 4 is fine. Uh, God of War is amazing. It is absolutely amazing. And the story in uh, Ragnarok is so very good. Uh, the team at Santa Monica has just knocked this one out of the park. They have just done... You, It's a labor of love. You can tell they've really loved what they've worked on and created and we're very excited to share it with everybody. And it, it definitely shows. I've cried at least once already playing this game. No doubt I'll probably cry several more times before it's up. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I can operate the crank from both sides, can't I? Or can I not? Oh, this door actually works. What about that? <laughs> How about that? Let's see what's going on over here. Way up to the shrine. We know. <laughs> There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. Okay. There's loot to be had. Okay. Okay, tier. Why is that not working? There's got to be a way to get your axe behind the crate, right? Yeah. I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. Yeah. Well, perhaps. <laughs> Looked like it was supposed to. Looked like it was supposed to. I'm not sure what's going on here. Yeah, 
maybe it's uh, just not meant to happen yet. And that's fine. And that's fine. This is rough. Uh, <laughs> you had a tough time here too, Wimpy. Okay, why would they give me access down here? Definitely appreciate you uh, keeping the answer. Uh, let's climb back up here. Okay, I need to hit that. Uh, so when I crank this up, that goes down. Oh, I see. Can we hit? Nope, that's not the right angle. We don't need to hit that. We need to hit the uh, thing below it. What the heck? Okay. Okay. I see the thing on that. But it's like that white marble thing needs to break first. Wait, what's the blue rope there for? Am I totally wooly braining this thing? Because that would be hilarious. All right, let's go back up here. Good, 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 good. <laughs> I was just wanting to make sure that I wasn't completely making a, a fool out of myself on stream. But it's good to know. It is good to know. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's crank it up one more time. Uh, no. There we go. Anything over here. And if I let go, it goes down. the heck? I, I swear there's something really simple. There's something really simple here, and I'm just totally... <laughs> this is fantastic. Uh, this is the... Oh, hey. Can I do something with this? No. Come on now. Why would they put the blue rope there? Oh, good gourd. Uh, this is ridiculous. Okay. If I could just get Atreus to, you know, help me out with anything. Typical teenager. Typical teenager. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Leah, you make me feel better. Uh, let's see. Smack this thing around to like rotate it. Yeah, Mimir usually gives me all the answers, but uh, oh, 
Oh. Oh my gosh. It was this simple. Well done. Good gourd. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was total wooly brain moment. Referred to as the dragon's bane. Ooh, we definitely need that. And we can upgrade it too. Nice. Well, they're called nightmares. I doubt they smell good. Back to it then. Alright, time to go back to woolly braining this side. Did take me a few tries to get uh the hidden axe pommel. Yeah. Yeah, the puzzles kinda gave me some grief in 2018 as well. They can be held in place? What do you mean? Yeah, that looks right. Oh, there we go. Just didn't need to crank it down all the way. Let's continue our ascent, yes. Perfect. <laughs> I guess you need just one very difficult puzzle to make another puzzle much more trivial. <laughs> Does it look like I'm okay? Find you. What the heck? Find you, brother. Oh, at least you dropped some health along the way. That is good. Mumia, do you want to stab these poems? Well, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. <laughs> A tale showcasing the power of visual art by Kvasir. A gentle boy and his brush found kinship along the walls. His creation's playful sprites brought joy to one and all. The town, once empty, now flush with color and laughter. The boy hailed a hero, though merely a talented drafter. His mission? Save his home. Threatened by seas and disuse, his weapon, imagination, blues, reds, purples, and chartreuse. That is cool. It's all in what you bring to it. I like that a lot. These poems are really nice. Directional camera based uh, code to get it made it slightly finicky. Yeah. Just a bit. I really like the, uh, the poems in this. They are so good. I suppose Ooh. I'll leave you to it. This one's a new one. And apparently I just can't parry to save my life. Another line out to the left. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but nice. Ooh, hey. Where's the self? That's cool. I really dig the aesthetic of these uh, light elves. There we go. There we go. See if you can figure it out. It has no effect on the game or side missions. Just a fun Easter egg. 
Okay. Wow. I know that the one was a, a painter. I'll meet you on the other side. But it's supposed to have like a tie-in with lore, or just uh, I suppose kind of giving me a hint will probably uh, give it away. Whoa! Tyr can really jump. Well, uh, thanks for giving us a way over there, Tyr. All right, I don't know. I think this place is optional over here. <laughs> it's in some form of Elvish. And Alt, uh, DJ Wife and I just got done watching uh, all six Lord of the Rings movies. We do it uh, every year around Thanksgiving time. So Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving weekend, we watch all six movies. Uh, extended edition, of course. <laughs> So that is very fresh in my brain. <laughs> very, very fresh in my brain. Let's see. I kind of feel like there's some other ways we could go. Some can be more obvious than others, but interesting when you figure it out. I'll have to check it out. Uh, still need to get... Oh. Uh, I would say there's not as many extended scenes as there were in the extended Lord of the Rings. Uh, but still good. Still good, though. Hey, there we go. There we go. That's the wrong... No. Another chest. <laughs> He's getting yeah. the hang of it. Looting must be done. That's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Bartle Yorlo's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Guess he's in the light now, too. Let's see here. Okay, so I need to get a good uh, swing on that thing. There we go. Hot dish is starting to smell good. What a way for the wifey to wake up from a nap. Uh, then with fresh tater tot hot dish. Uh, that is the like equivalent of mid upper Midwest heaven, Red Chin. <laughs> Hope you've been enjoying the game as much as I have. Uh, Pandy Bear, it's been quite amazing. It's been quite amazing. Uh, I've really, really been enjoying this game. Even little moments of, like, when you first get control of Atreus and he goes to punch the chest because he's seen his dad do it. He feels like he's capable and he almost, like, breaks his wrist. Uh, <laughs> and then Mimir calls him, or uh, not Mimir, but uh, Sindri calls him out for it. It's amazing. It is amazing. Pre-ordered it and beat the... <laughs> Out of it in three days. That's it. That's impressive. Uh, yeah, not so easy. It was perfect. It's the perfect way of just storytelling through gameplay. I loved it. Only problem with movie making, sometimes taking s scenes out of the original cut for theaters can make the story feel disjointed. Yep. And there's definitely a lot of that in The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh. Lighthawk. Thank you <laughs> for the malicious biddies. Sorry, headphone users. Uh, like myself, whose ears are now bleeding. Ouch. That one hurt. <laughs> that one hurt. Ouchie, ouchie. The timing must be yeah, let's get you a bean. <laughs> the real Odin is... Well, I haven't got too far into it yet, and I'm still on my first playthrough, so... Please, no spoilers. All right, rotten egg or uh, buttered popcorn, which both of them are bad. Oh, and how small they made Odin. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, that makes sense. All right, here's your bean. Lighthawk, you wonderful human bean. Here you go. 
Oh. Both of them are bad, but rotten egg is worse. Oh. Hmm. Oh, wonderful. Thanks, dude. Thanks for the bean. Thanks for the malicious biddies. How's it going? How is it going, my friend? There we go. This one's going to be just as rough. Uh, when you think about it, him being small and kind of... I'm a snake. I'm a snake. I'm a feathery little snake and snake. <laughs> Thank you for finding the snake there, Lighthawk. Uh, kind of fits, yeah, the characterization in the game. I agree. And... Thor is a big honking boy in this one. That he is. Oh, I can just hit it from this side. I was making it. The light door blocking the chest is gone. Now we just need to find a way over there. I was making it far too difficult. My gosh. <laughs> really braining all these puzzles. Uh, signifying rebirth. Nice. This mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. Ooh, nice. Well then. <laughs> Santa did an excellent job depicting his body from actual mythology. That's true. Father, over here. That is true. All right. What do you see, Atreus? Ah. Good eye, boy. Oh, we need to climb. We need to climb just a bit further here. Here they come. Do what you must. Here they come. Father, just to walk in down the street. Watch your there we go. Behind you! Look out! I like uh, the targeting system in this. Works pretty well with that. That is really nice. I still can't figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh, can we, like, push it over or something? <laughs> Just destroy architecture, no big deal. Nice. Oh, the crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. Well, can't we, uh... Get some of those crystals and wear them ourselves. I he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? <laughs> well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? Feels even <laughs> on the Oh, I wasn't aimed at the right spot. Here we go. <laughs> Why 
Why must they insist on these frustrating trials? <laughs> you would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Norm. Nor do I wish to try. <laughs> All right. Oh, is this one of the timed ones with the bells? I remembered not being a big fan of those in the 2018. And so far, I hadn't seen one, so I was hoping they had refrained. Let's see here. Hmm. Okay. All right, there's one here. One just back over there, and there's one there. Did I get it? Nope. Okay. It's gonna be fun. Oh, hey. <laughs> there's enemies. Yeah, those ones are tough. The realm terrors were pretty tough too with the uh, stronger enemies. still going. Oh. This tier went ahead. I guess I'll have to uh, go back and through that puzzle. Uh, ages to beat Sigrun ended up using the Talisman of Betrayal. Oh, I don't know if I used that one. Yeah, Sigrun was very difficult. But after you beat her, it feels so good. How many are there? Strike ball of light coming your way. There we go. Forgot to use my environment. Uh, gave me infinite active realm shift. Ooh. I might have to go back and do that fight again. <laughs> that that exploit actually makes it sound bearable. Alright, now we can do our puzzles in peace. There we go. Well done. It's gotta be quicker than that. Ooh. More rage. Excellent. That's what we need. That is what we need. This whole area is so beautiful. Man, all the environments they've crafted in this I game are just so beautiful. Uh, I think I missed something back here. Did 
Jeez, Tyr. Let a guy know you're sneaking up on him. Nope. I guess I can't get to any of that right now. Up, up. There we go. I like how bulky and slow he feels too, even though he is fast in combat. Uh, it stands to reason that he's not a sprinter. Ooh, hey. Here's one of our spy friends. Oh, he hops around. Nice. Nice. I think we get another thing at 12. So we're one off. We can go back there after uh, we have one more. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't going to work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame nice. on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal this land and end. Makes it super easy as long as you don't use the boy's summons. If you use them, oh. He made his choice. Yep. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own paths. Regardless of where they end. Okay. Oh, hey, there we go. Yeah, the shield moved. Um, looks like I need to break that other spot though. Can't do it from here. Using the Shatter Gauntlet of the Ages, uh, the Infinity Gauntlet. Nice. I, it's been so long for me, I can't remember what I used. But I remember it being a, a hefty fight. Probably because I was woolly-braining it. Because I didn't make good use of my uh, talismans and whatnot. Not going to lie. Okay. Let's yank that one back over. And let's go back over here. That one we can't pull from the front. So let's hop down here. Can we even pull this one around anymore? Nope, I guess not. There must be a way to move this statue of Twilight Stone to get the right angle. Yeah, I know, Tyr. The statue keeps getting stuck on the wings. Can we hit that from here? Get out of the way. Three of the six enhancements that count as infinity stones, uh, which gave it projectiles to the attack rather than it just being short ranged. Ooh, that would help out a lot. It would definitely help out a lot. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely woolly braining this thing. There's nothing I can do with that where it's currently at. All right, let's go back up. Alright, there's 
There's nothing hey, there. Up there. <laughs> Stop giving me the hint, boy. Okay. To get all the trophies for the game, though, missing one for destroying the ravens and for the artifacts. Uh, it was fun hunting those. Uh, I did go back and do the, the platinum trophy on that one. And uh, it was fun. But it is uh, a little bit of a fetch quest. Really? Probably making this just way more oh, difficult than it I needs see it to now. be. The wings are connected back here. Yeah. I think I need to hit. I can't reach. Hmm. Losing my brain here. I can't destroy that from here. Or can I? Probably do it the normal new game save data rather than new game plus. Yeah, it might make it a little bit easier. Might make it just a tad bit easier. Could have swore I saw another thing to break the wing. Now I'm not seeing it. Reyes, get out of the way. Wait, is that a door? No, it's not. One has a sword, one has a shield. <laughs> My gosh. I'm trying. I'm trying. Let's see here. do there. Alright, let's hop back over to the other side. Gotta be something easy I'm missing. Something easy. Lose your wings, stupid statue. Things moving. Alright, let's try this again. There's got to be a purpose to uh, doing that. You mean it just doesn't bust off over time? Okay. Oh, 
Oh, hey. Here's something. I doubt it's gonna help. But it's something. Makes me feel temporarily better about our current disposition. Okay. At first they were overzealous with the uh, the hints, and now they're up where? Up where, up where Atreus? Uh, exploit got me through Musfulheim. Oh, the one is difficult. I forget which one it is. Uh, like killing the enemies inside the rings I struggled with big time. I'm trying to think what else I struggled with. Oh, hey. My gosh. Really, Wooly? That looks right. Unbelievable. There we go. Tear, the last time you were here, you the dark out. Perfect. That's unfortunate. Oh, the not getting hit ones were tough. Yeah. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. The not getting hit ones were really tough. <laughs> In the like killing enemies in the air, wasn't there like a juggling fest? Out there. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. All right. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Can we drop down there? It's looking down like we can go down there. Guess not. Yapa. There's some soundstone up there. It pairs quite nicely with the Twilight Stone. A nice oh, hey. Interiors, these light elves. Ah. Facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we allow me to speed this up. <laughs> oh. The angle should work, Kratos. There you go, Tear. Thank you, dude. Well done. At your service. <laughs> Now, what in the world would that one be for? Your father ah. is indeed thorough. <laughs> Limitless. Limitless what? Power? Growth? Ambition? Limitless. I'll give this to the Light Elves. The beauty of this temple is unmatched across the Nine Realms. To think, only two winters ago, all of this was covered by hive and darkness. I'm sure there was beauty in it, in its own way. But what can I say? White marble and gold trim is much more fetching. A bit vague, isn't it? I can't imagine Kratos saying fetching. Just, uh... Seems a bit strange, if you ask me. Here we go. That's boogie. Oh, the light of Alfheim. How stunning. What's wrong? I could hear mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. 
I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he you said he... You went inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. Mm, and maybe. And here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. <laughs> kind of like Wednesday saying thank you. Or I love you. <laughs> yeah, Wednesday usually doesn't say that to me, but uh, hey, I'll take it. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so conversation was difficult, to say the least. <laughs> Oh, the echoes of that song. Father, she's... she's gone. Oh, man. This game this tugs at those heartstrings. Yes. Keep moving. Oh. Almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf came... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. Mm hmm What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. Oh, this is good. Uh, definitely need to do that, Red Shen. I know they have the 2018 one for PC, uh, in case you don't have access to a PS4. But if you do have an access access to a PS4, uh, both of these are available. I will say on PS5, it's very, very beautiful. But uh, man, 2018 God of War was really good on the base PS4. So need to re-up your plus? Heck yeah, it's so good. The story of the first one was phenomenal. And I will not give any spoilers to that. But it was very, very good. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let that go. I'm not sure. I mean, at this point, the original ones you could probably emulate if you needed to. Uh, pending, you know, you have the original game and whatnot. But uh, I think on P4, 
PS Plus, you can do the... Uh, Uh, the God of War 3. I know there's HD remaster of that. But I'm not sure about the first two. Yeah, PS2 and PSP games. Yeah. That's true. I know Wimpy is working on 3 right now. Trophy wise. Got him on the streaming side? Oh, okay. On the, on the PS Plus streaming kind of thing. Oh, hey, Sindri. Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only <laughs> one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Think I'd wash my hands this much? Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the light elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are. But it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck. <laughs> uh, oh, hey. Right, I am. Just killed Hades. GG's, dude. Old mobile God of War game is also canon, but pretty much nowhere to be found online. Hmm. see what we can upgrade here uh we don't have the wooden knob equipped or the steel handles we can upgrade our shield though that ought to hurt him there we go and armor what about our armor uh gives us more runic Spalders of Enlightenment. I do like the Knit of Valir stuff, but uh, let's give this a go. Wear it with pride. Because I'm sure we can. Oh, we can't even upgrade it, but that's fine. Just get enlightened. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Okay, and let's go ahead and do the, the belt as well. A good fit. Although the girdle of Raven Tears does look way better. Uh, we're going to go with the full set. Why not? From before, we had touchscreen phones. Oh my gosh, do you remember the days... You remember the days of the rotary phone? Those were uh The giants always did enjoy hiding their quite interesting to use. Sight. Wait until you see this. Nice. Oh, this is so beautiful. Ah, yes. Show us, Mimir. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like Odin. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Hmm. Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. 
The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, Tyr. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? Wow, this game is just visually stunning. But I'm sorry, chat. I'll catch up as soon as this is done. Oh my gosh. And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied. Of course she did. <laughs> Odin's working <laughs> off a false prophecy. <laughs> So then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr <laughs> leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw no, you. No, Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. That's awesome. Oh yeah, when you need a 10-foot telephone cord to just sit down to use it. Yours was in the kitchen, sat in the living room on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Either you had the long cord for the phone, like where it attaches to the wall so you could take the the whole phone with you or you had the long cord between the the handset that you held to your ear and the base of the phone where the base of the phone stayed attached to the wall or on a table or something and then you brought just the handset wherever you were going to sit and talk <laughs> or you had a combination and you could go anywhere in the house with the phone and then there was a cordless phone or the wireless phone that came out and my gosh revolutionary <laughs> oh, good times. Also in the dial-up days, too, where, uh, get off the phone. I'm trying to talk to my friends on MSN Messenger or AOL. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The cordless phone. Amazing. Wonderful technology. All right, we came through that door. Let's see what's over here. There used to be a Nornia chest down here. Guess they moved it. Yeah, hack silver. That's good enough. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. <laughs> oh, hey. Now I see why there's so much uh, lightstone in here. There we go. There we go. It's for fighting these pesky elves. Nice. 
talk on the phone while I was playing uh, 3D tic-tac-toe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, the days. Oh, the visceral strikes here are just amazing. 30 of 45, okay. Oh, hello. Just jump. Uh, let's see what else is over. Father, this way. Yeah, I know, but loot, Atreus. There might be loot. Okay, never mind. No loot. No loot. I'm sharing my old today. No, you're sharing your shared experiences. And that is one of the most wonderful things about Twitch. Uh, let's uh, axe this thing. There we go. Oh, I absolutely adore this game. The combat is so good. Storyline is so good. You've done such a wonderful job here. Okay. It looks like it's the same either way. Quickly now before more arrive. Well, more are gonna arrive. And you know it. The weak bastard's about to explode! <laughs> Oh, these things smell awful. There we go. We must find the goodies. Yes. We need to keep moving. Really worked up. We are addicted to okay. loot around here, so. Boy needs to hold his uh, horses. He knows we have an addiction. It almost feels like cheating using those, but uh, hey. The game gives it to us. Utilize the cheese. Enough. Oh. Nope. Wrong button. Wrong button. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's red. No, let's just do that. Use a shield. Oh, 
Could have parried that. Could have parried that. <laughs> Take what we are given, boy. <laughs> uh oh. Yep. Uh oh, I didn't do the thing. That's on me. that one up again. Ah, come on. <laughs> I'm just so used to dodging. You can tell I played too much Dark Souls. <laughs> This is brutal. My gosh, Kratos. Here? Are you okay? Holy smokes. No. Ronda of Expedition. Shield Ron that hastens recovery uh, when used to ward off impending doom. All right. Well, let's... Uh Equip that. Nice. Oh, he killed it. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. That is true. Atreus. Hold on. Over here. Your chase. Okay, I just have to comment on Tyr, the way he's just standing there and just not even, like, showing effort is just a symbol of how powerful he is, yet he's choosing to be a pacifist in this struggle. And that says a lot. That says a lot because of how mighty he is, yet he's choosing uh, to sit this one out. That's crazy. <sighs> Uh, 
Hey, Tyr? Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. Wow. Dinner time and gotta go. Uh, good to see you. Yes. Definitely good to see you, Red Chen. Hopefully you have a wonderful night. Enjoy your... Enjoy your hot dish. Enjoy... Uh, what were you guys watching tonight? Uh, I forget uh, what you had mentioned because we had t also talked about Wednesday and we had also talked about Andor. So uh, apologies. The short term memory is betraying me tonight, uh, but definitely enjoy the shows. Willow. That's right. My gosh. Wooly Willow. It's close enough. I should have remembered. <laughs> have a wonderful night. Can we get some hearts in chat for Red Shen as she departs our company? And if you are a sub, uh, feel free to spam the lumber snack emotes, those were designed by uh, Red Shen. So if you have those, uh, feel free to spam those. <laughs> have a wonderful night. Take care. DJ Wife, welcome in. <laughs> and thanks for the confetti. We shouldn't linger. What a good game. Look, I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. But is there loot? Will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Okay, no loot. Roll over? <laughs> do nothing? Enough. We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. <laughs> Ooh, hey, there's loot over here. Make your way to the Mystic Gateway. Oh, we get to see the desert of uh, Alfheim here. Oh. A dark elf assault. How fortuitous. Wonderful. I'm so sick of fighting elves. Can't they just leave us alone? Oh. Nice. There we go. Fight some dark elves here. Behind you! Look out! Go. Oh, it's just here. <laughs> I thought that was another Need dark elf. Oh, never mind. We have more. Through here. All right, let's go. At least they're waiting, uh, taking their turns, fighting me. And this done really easy, too. This done really easy. Oh, I saw one fluttering around. Oh, okay, let's just go. Here we 
go. A whole civil war going on all over again. Yeah, this scenery is just amazing. Ooh, hey. Let's uh, break out the axe. On your right. There we go. Gonna make it easy. Gonna make it easy. First, uh, Atreus, okay. Here we go. I like how Tyr just jumps up there. I know there's gonna be a point where we see Tyr have to get involved, and I'm also, like, not only excited for it, but also terrified. Just feel like Tyr in battle is going to be something to be reckoned with. He is a god of war after all. Alright. Oh, missed the old uh, double shield button there. You know what? You, watch out. Here we go. A little late to be doing that, but that's fine. Here we go. My gosh. <laughs> Got violent in a hurry. Oh, I thought I was going to have to burn through the blades. Keep pushing forward. Where is forward, though? Hectic doggos, huh? Did that get out of hand? Did that get out of hand fast? Let's uh, give you a little bit of puppy cam. <laughs> we need to calm down after that little battle there. Anyway, I started blasting. Wow. <laughs> no, I don't 
Didn't see so good, so I missed. Then they ran away. I ran after them. Okay. Bang! Try to shoot them in the back. But I don't run so good either. But I don't run so good either. DJ Wife, thank you for the uh, Frank Reynolds. But anyway, I started blasting. It was uh, fairly recently, it was Danny DeVito's birthday, too. Can we leave now, please? So happy Almost belated there. birthday to the Danny boy. Very good actor. Very fond of his work. Oh, hey. We... Open the gateway, please. <laughs> yeah, it got intense in a hurry, didn't it? Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. Graffiti and dark elf territory, next to a statue of their ancestors. The elves before the division of light and dark. The message being, what exactly? And for who? Either the elves have seen this statue and ignored it, or they're more concerned with mastery over the light. Yeah, my guess is probably the latter. Uh oh. You want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. Oh. Uh, Groa's secret. Need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, okay, so this is a side quest. But I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. Oh, hey. You? Really? Yes. Well, I remember these puzzles. Okay, then. Good. Yeah. Lead the way. Ooh, this music is... Nice and ambient. Very cool. Oh. Oh, I saw a raven. No, that was a butterfly. I heard a raven. There's Odin's raven. Okay. Where are you? Where's your flight path here? Oh, just missed it. Catch it next time it comes around. Nice. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. Oh, cool! So Raven, uh, Raven. Hail, fellow travelers. So Mimir keeps track then, uh, and lets you know when you need to go back. That's cool. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. And I know that I forgot to do one of the Twitch official shoutouts. We did a channel shoutout, but let's do one of the Twitch official ones for uh, Emmy Vogue, who gave us... Uh, Heckin' huge raid earlier, and I just want to say if you're not following her, uh, please definitely do so, especially if you're enjoying uh, God of War Ragnarok. She is on her first playthrough, so uh, if you're looking for some more God of War content and any uh, Souls content, uh, Emmy does a lot of Souls games as well. Uh, recently completed one of her challenge runs, which was uh, Rune Level 1 uh, playthrough of Elden Ring. So definitely uh, go share some support over that way if you get a chance. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't <laughs> knock it till you've tried it. Let's hope this animal isn't big, considering uh, what he does to... <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm here for you. Ooh, can upgrade her axe. Uh, I'm down with that. This axe just keeps getting stronger. Have we more to talk about? Well, do we? Thought we did. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. 
Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? <laughs> oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, <laughs> what is a juicy... No. <laughs> uh, total dad moment from Kratos there. That is awesome. Just an absolute no. Dad, dad just shut that one down right away. <laughs> uh, companion accessory slot. Oh, okay. Let's uh, take a peek at that. So I need to go to Atreus. Nope, it's not that. It's not that either. Yeah, now now I want to know, right? Exactly. Does anybody know what a a juicy noken is? Inquiring minds must must know. Unless it's a spoiler. <laughs> uh let's see here. Oh, I can upgrade the uh theory on my Spartan Rage. Okay. Oh, accessory. I found it. Okay. Rune Engraved Release Tier 1. Okay, first runic arrow from a full quiver deals increased damage. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, there we go. Now we gotta know. Some spicy deets. Mm. Two gulans sit in front of this marker that says unnatural. They're tied to a sled and completely calm. Strange. How long have they sat here? They're just as well behaved as Specky and Svana. Oh, hey. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Oh, heck yes. Let's go. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. Ah! How do I, can I hop off? Okay, there's treasure, you know. Treasure is very important. All right, mush. Uh, I'm not sure if you can hear the controller sounds, but there's controller jingling and uh, other sled sounds uh, going through the controller speaker, which is pretty cool. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Oh, this is a lot of fun. Yes, yes. <laughs> a tempting treasure chest! Damn the sand! Oh, okay. Can't do anything with that right now. Looks like there's some puzzle over here. So much sand. I don't think we're getting through that gate in the storm. Okay. Doubt I can do much with that with the sand either. Go up here. Oh, 
There we go. Nicely done. A few different answers. Is it uh, is it spoiler territory or is it because uh, if they are gonna tell us in the game at some point. Uh, oh, oh! I hate these dark elves. How they blind you and then you can't see anything. I remember the fights with these in uh, the 2018 God of War. Not fun. Ooh, I'm going to have to play this uh, wisely here. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, that was bad. Oh, I got a resurrection stone. Let's go. <laughs> Let's make use of that thing. Ooh, yay, we got him. about that uh, if it is non uh, spoilers uh, feel free to share unless it's uh, too too vulgar but uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here not to be confused with Yaller horn uh, this piece symbolizes peace or at least uh, Freyer's hopes for peace it was said amongst the more easily excitable of the elves that one day Freyr would blow the horn of quiet and in so doing bring an end to the war between the elves. Just wishful thinking, I'm afraid. No prophecy ever spoke of such a horn, and as far as I can tell, no such item exists. But that didn't stop the elves from hoping. Can't fault them for that. There's a few different answers, huh? Look here. Though it now serves as a military outpost, this tower's architecture indicates a different function in the time before the division of light and dark. I could find no mention within the archives, which is not altogether unusual. Many of the texts within have been sanitized across generations, but the very absence of any information is telling in and of itself. What sacrilegious ceremonies were held here, so inimical to our current status quo that the librarians eradicated all mention of this tower's true purpose? I can't help but assume the answer is the key to a lasting peace. The console. Everything I'm seeing says it doesn't explicitly say it in the game. <laughs> Uh, maybe depends. I'll keep it in mind for later, though. From what I've seen, they don't mention what it is in the game, but, uh, until the time is right. I appreciate that. And the extra lore in this game is just awesome, too. And I think there's an Odin Raven up there. Yep. There we go. What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. These pages are very old and could be anywhere. They're likely the relics outlined in these diagrams are very powerful. Man, if I can get like a a cool sword, uh, that would be super cool. Pages torn from an ancient tome, the pages contain diagrams of long-forgotten sword hilts. If we can find the ingredients, I believe the dwarves can craft these relics once again. That would be sweet. Might connect uh, theoretically to something later. I appreciate Perhaps that, Paul. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. 
I appreciate that. Uh, ooh, gauntlets of radiance. Beautifully crafted armor found in the barian, or barons of Alfheim. The barians. Can I speak? Uh, let's check them out. It shares the radiance of the realm itself. Ooh, more strength. Takes away some runic, but that's okay. Look at these things. They're beautiful. Yeah, that was worth it. That was worth the little side quest there. Mush. Whatever this thing is, I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels are plenty out here. Let's find one and see what it takes us. Ooh, that skeleton's cool. And the flame up here reminds me of a bonfire, so we're going to go check it out. <laughs> Been playing Souls games too long. Ooh, sweet. Pressure map complete. Lethal detonation. Unstable gemstone craving death and destruction. Is that an accessory for Kratos? And how do I equip it? <laughs> you know, I haven't been spending any experience points. <laughs> I should probably look into doing that. Ooh, Bean Boozled. I can do a Bean Boozled for you. I can do a Bean Boozled. We don't have too many left. Let's see, I'm out of that one, so we'll spin again. I'm out of that one, so we'll spin again. And again. All right, uh, and we're out of that one, so we'll spin again. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be Stinky Socks or Tutti Fruity. Yeah, all right. Alt. Here's your bean. Thank you. All right. Some tutti frutti. Good bean for a change. Good bean for a change. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So do I have enough experience to, uh, oh, it's only 250? Nice. Yeah, we better uh, spend some of this. Good old bean. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. They get stuck in my teeth very easily, though. Ooh, nice. What's this? Quick succession without sustaining damage to power up. Ooh. Yeah, I dig that. Yep. Also like that a lot. And melee. Hold left stick back and press. Oh, that's cool. While evading, hold forward. Okay. Out of experience there. Probably. Oh, we can use skill labor here. Oh, we already have that. Okay. Oh, gotcha. I 
I see. Nice. dodging. I'm just spamming roll now. <laughs> oh, can we get this little wretch? Come back here, little wretch. Ah, you'll do. There we go. Last one! Nice. That's a ticket. Could mean anything. Food, attractiveness. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. We'll get some more These lore rules. here. So much of who are... So much of who we are is lost. Not just this desiccated leviathan nor its ilk but the very identity of the creature is knowledge forgotten was it a predator a wraith of the barons to be feared and avoided or perhaps a gentle behemoth tamed by the pre-division elves and farmed for meat the answer is a grain of sand in the desert of our ignorance our history remains buried beneath generations of dead elves should another manage to rise above our malignant dogma and search for answers, let these bones serve as a warning. If nothing changes, we will remain forgotten. This lore is so deep and so good. Like, there are a lot of games where it feels like a chore to read those, uh, but here they're, they're fairly short. Uh, they're full of knowledge and just paints just a little bit of that deeper picture of the world you're in, and I love it. Just giving you little bits at a time. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. <laughs> Esteem. A mind-expanding poetic experience constructed by who else but Kavasir. Look around you, O oh God. Turn your head. Guide your metal friend with care. Or else it be dead. Rescue its friends. Experience tension. Immerse yourself in a new dimension. Just like Souls. I think Souls, uh, I find reading the item descriptions just a bit monotonous. <laughs> if I'll be completely honest. Oh, we get the belt to go along with it? Heck yeah. Um, but what I will say about the lore of Dark Souls, though, it's so fun to go back after I played the game or that section of the game and watch the plethora of YouTube videos uh, describing all of the lore and the the like world they've built, because there's a lot there. There's a lot to unpack. 
It's just while you're playing it. To me, it doesn't seem as fun while you're playing to go through it, but afterwards, it's so good. Because I like to dive in deep after I've played most of the game. Uh oh. I hear you, Raven. I hear you, Spy of Odin, but where are you? There's no way it's just the wind. Oh, hey. You're hanging out up there. Nice. And I like how they've added storyline for them in this game, too. that they were some of Odin's uh, prisoners. That means there's gotta be chest armor of radi Radiance up here too. And I need to complete the set. Ooh, hey. Puzzle time. So this one seems fairly simple. Nope. I could get lower. Oh, maybe it needs to be done from above? Spots to climb over here. Ugh. Oh, can I hit? Oh, I wonder if it's one of those ones that I can do this. Nope, not quite. There we go. Hey. We got it. That one was a brain tickler. I want the chest armor. I'm a snag. <laughs> I'm a snag. I'm a snag. I'm a slithery little snake a snag. You are a sneaky snake there, sword. <laughs> Welcome in. Good to see you. How was your Wednesday? Hopefully you're doing well, friend. <laughs> oh, I love that redeem. Uh, we created that one last year, and I just, uh, I'm in love with it. Where's uh, our doggos at? Our, our sled doggos. We'll give you some real-life doggos while we look for the in-game in-game doggos. Well, there's Roxy. Lucy's being elusive. The all-elusive Lucy. Hey, there's our sled. Look! There's a cave entrance! Anything else around here? Okay. Can I crush this barrel? There we go. There we go. 
Hi, <laughs> Roxy Dog. Hi, Puppy Dog. Okay, I can't get up there, so into the cave we go. Oh, wait, what's this? What is this loot over here? Hmm. Never mind loot. Oh, we can't do anything about it right now. All right, cave time. Anything here in the middle? Nope, just a big chasm. Okay, cave time. Cave of Wonders. <laughs> oh, the uh, the juicy... Is it Nokin? Nokin? The juicy Nokin? Oh, hey, look at the little lizard. That's fun. This cave extends underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. One of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. <sighs> Great. Okay. Oh, that one's easy enough. That one's easy enough. Good luck! Oh, okay. So it's a food item then, pretty much. Nice. Oh, this is another one of those. Oh. There we go. That's cool. That's cool. I like how they're merging uh, puzzles that happened in the last game with mechanics they introduce in this one. It's very cool. Sweet. Oh, just the wording. Oh, okay. Not the meaning, just the wording. Gotcha. Oh, this is just beautiful. Right side! Incoming! Nope. We need our axe back. Oh, I'm just gonna take you out one at a time. No spoilers. <laughs> I appreciate that, DJ. Right? Oh, come on. There we go. Nice. Good hit, brother. You know, now that I know more about the Dark Elves, I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alpha... Oh, wait. Can you really run them? Okay. There's got to be a way to get all three of those. Yeah, these lightstone things are heckin' cool. I'm very impressed. Very impressed with the visuals in this game. Oh, hey. Uh, got a rune puzzle here. 
So something tells me we're going to have to bust through there or open that. All right, so let's just climb up first. Maybe get a better vantage spot. Boy, lead the way, boy. Aha. Oh, yeah. It's just a straight shot. I was hoping for something a little bit cooler, like having to bounce it using one of the the uh, light stone things. All right. Patience. A virtue or a threat? Depends on the reader. <laughs> Let's see. Codex. Uh, rune reads, right? Noah's patience. Uh, found deep within a dark elf cave. They must use these as outposts to launch raids on the temple. Useful spot to watch their enemy and plan their next assault. Little more, I'm even more unsure about it being a good idea to not say... <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I, I appreciate the uh, restraint. I really do. creature you heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I'm curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love it. Oh, hey. Is that our way to uh, bounce through those three? Or do we have to... Oh, we can jump down over here. Perfect. Oh, hey, wretches. Wretches, wretches, hold up. Wretches, wretches, hold up. Okay. Uh oh, it's gonna explode. Oh no, okay. Well, there's extra health. Let's grab that. Oh hey. Alright, so there's a bell right there. There's one right here. Where's our other bell? did that song was that is that blondie or my uh having a memory lapse here where is this other bell at oh it's up there hey Hit it from here? Or does it have to be right there? Really? Weird.
Okay, that's our way forward. Feeling like we should be able to get this bell from here, though. Because the axe, I know the axe fits through there. Go! have to come back for this one. I've never been this interested before. When I talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. <laughs> I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. Oh, hey. We found the way. Did I do it? Oh, wow. I was not expecting that to be enough time. Heck yes. Ooh, another apple. So does that increase our max health? Oh, one of three. So last time we got one. It must have increased our health. Heck yes. Heck yes. Worth it. I was going to say, it's way too beautiful down here <laughs> to not have combat. Come on. Behind you, brother. Why is that not hitting him? On your left. There we go. Oh, this one's uh, a tough one. Rage this thing. There we go. <laughs> oh, I thought I got him. There we go. Uh, might be a few streams. That's fair. That is fair. Sure we're doing the right thing. If you wish to abandon this creature, we will leave. Well, no. I don't want to abandon it. But if we have to kill a bunch I of... I am monsters, kind of taking my sweet time with this I game, too. I, I understand until that. Until this very <laughs> moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't. Right. Looks like we need to blow that up somehow. Oh, hey. We can hit that. Aha. Oh, and we can hit that. Look at Wooly using his... Uh, Puzzle solving brain here. Nice. All right. Yeah, 
I'm definitely gonna have to get this soundtrack. This game is very good. Hey! Hey! That's my beer! That's my beer. Or you're more than welcome to grab a pint and hang out here. Uh, give me one second here, <laughs> and I will catch up with all of you. Stovetop, thank you so heckin' much for the raid. Thank you, thank you. Can we get some cheers and hearts and GGs in chat for Stove? Stove, Raiders, my name is Uncle Wooly. I play Dark Souls 2 on Mondays. Wednesdays, we're working on God of War Ragnarok. And Fridays, bright and early, we play Final Fantasy IV. It's kind of a bit about my schedule. Also, I just want to introduce you really quick to the stream puppies. Well, whichever ones are on camera at the moment. It looks like just Roxy. <laughs> Roxy is a 13-year-old Jack Russell. The one not pictured on the camera because she's being very elusive tonight is Lucy. She's a four-year-old Shih Tzu. And they're more uh, just always infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So most people stick out stick around for them uh they tolerate the mediocre gameplay and uh terrible puns in the meantime but welcome in raiders it's so good to see you stovetop i understand if you need to raid and run um don't feel bad if you have to do that definitely take care of yourself get hydrated stretch your legs if you need to you just got done streaming and you were playing zelda too i did not have the patience to get through that one Maybe one day I will go back and do it, but my gosh, Zelda 2 is a difficult game. Uh, my favorite 2D Zelda has got to be Link to the Past, uh, but Zelda 2, that's a tough one. <laughs> that is a heckin' tough one. Uh, Super Metroid 100% speed runs and Zelda 2 casually. And thanks for checking out the pronouns as well. I see you use uh, they, them pronouns according to the plugin. And likewise, with any of the Raiders that showed up uh, with Stovetop, if you want to drop your preferred nickname uh, and or pronouns in the chat, I want to make sure you feel welcome here. Uh, but welcome in, everybody. Big cheers. Thank you for joining. And I know this is spoiler territory for anybody that's uh, also looking to play God of War Ragnarok, so please don't... Uh, uh, I won't be offended if you need to uh, lurk or uh, drop out. Uh, tormenting myself despite not being a huge fan of Zelda. Uh, giving the black sheep a try. I'll be back in like two minutes. Gotta grab a pint. Heck yes. Thank you. Tonight we're sipping on some pumpkin nitro from Southern Tier. And it's an imperial uh, pumpkin ale. It is heckin' good. It is heckin' good. But welcome in, Raiders. Nice to see you all. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's get you, uh, before I forget, because I am very forgetful, get you one of those official Twitch shoutouts. Here we go. Go say hello to Stovetop next time they're live. Uh, we can... Okay, that does nothing right now. Oh, hey. Oh. Looks like we need to free that one up. Ooh, this is puzzle heavy here. I'm digging this. I am digging this. Wow. <laughs> Helps if I can hit it. Might be too far away. Too high. A little lower. A little lower yet, even. Hey, there we go. Oh, nope, that might have been too far. Uh, so I stop holiday shopping. DJ Wife, have a wonderful night. Can we get some hearts in chat for DJ Wife, please? As she heads off to sleep and avoids any extra holiday shopping. <laughs> have a wonderful, wonderful night, DJ Wife. 
Let's see here. This is the way forward. But what a way it is. Okay, that's not what we need. Nope, further up. Nope, up a little more. There we go. Let's see. Uh, this one's going to be a head scratcher, I think. <laughs> it's going to be a head scratcher. Maybe this needs to go that way. Yeah, maybe that works. Nope, I guess not. Hey, there we go. Now we're using the big Brian. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so very much for the raid. How was your stream? Uh, did you get through some speedruns of Metroid? Uh, Super Metroid, that is. I enjoy the Metroid games, too. Ooh, a winter ale from Granville Island. That sounds very nice. Perfect time of year for it, too. That sounds really tasty. Second best time. Heck yes. That's awesome. Kudos on the near PB. Uh, hour 2257. 1.5 seconds slower than your current PB. Nice. That's impressive. That's very impressive. That's uh, definitely one game I could never <laughs> do any speedrunning on. So, uh, huge, huge kudos to you for that. Uh, let's see here. I think I played all of them except for any of the handheld Metroids. And I don't know if I've played Prime or not. Here and lurking hardcore for spoilers and stuffs, but want to stop in and say hello. AJ, welcome in, my friend. How was your stream? How was, uh, did you make a Jill sandwich tonight? In Resident Evil. Uh, how did it go, dude? Because you are on your second stream of the, your Jill playthrough, right? How far did you get? And I was lurking during the beginning of your stream. And my gosh, the uh, the doggo treats with Caddy are just the best thing on the internet. It was just so very cute. Uh, you beat Yawn. Heck yes. Uh, so you're getting near near the end of the game. Uh, oh man, <laughs> she goes wild. Did you see that bocce? I was looking on their site the other day. Did you see they had some holiday themed, uh, doggo treats? Hey, brain candy. Welcome in. Nice to see you. Interested in prime. There is a mouse and keyboard hack called prime hack. It's a fork. Uh, oh, from the dolphin emulator. I might have to check that out. Stove top. I might have to check that out. Uh, did I kill Ares? Um, not yet, Hegel. Not yet. <laughs> um, yes, got to get some. For her, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Totally, totally for Caddy. Uh, and not, you know, for yourself. <laughs> uh, I, I laughed when you mentioned what you were eating uh, on stream because I was about to make that joke tonight. <laughs> like, poor Caddy, you're eating all of her treats. Because it couldn't quite see the food as it entered your mouth. I was like, he's eating Caddy's treats. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. But AJ will eat a dog treat if you do enough, uh, do enough gift subs while he's got Caddy on camera. He will eat one with her. 
Let's see. This is how we do this. Let's see here. We need to hit that one more time. Uh, this place is soon for super comfy. Well, I'm glad you find it uh, comforting to be here. It's dope. And enjoy your lurk, AJ. So good to see you, dude. Let me get some hearts in chat for AJ. If you don't uh, make your way back here yet tonight, AJ. It's so very good to see you, my friend. So, so very good to see you. Let's see. If we can get this. Dang puzzle. <laughs> my gosh. All right. How about let's uh, rotate this way? Maybe this is what we need to do. What is that all about? Oh, it's just a reflection of the thing. <laughs> it's just a thing from the thing. All right. I'm totally woolly braining this. Thanks for finding the uh, Happy Holidays emote. Uh, that one came about last year because I was thinking about GG, you know. All, all of us gamers say GG. Uh, but as we move into the holidays, it's like we say happy holidays. So I'm like, oh, I need a HH. Everyone's got GG, but what about HH? So we needed a double H emote. <laughs> we needed one of those. All right. I feel like I need to be higher up to do this one. Why is my brain just... Look oh, there. hey. That bomb should help us out. Yeah, I saw it right as you told me about it, Atreus, it okay? <laughs> Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something there you're we telling go. me? No. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Boy. Boy does know. It's like, boy, give me a little bit more of a chance, okay? That's all I ask. All right, here we go. That's the ticket. Wonderful. <laughs> there we go. The forge... The forging of paths forward has been successful. Nightmare, left flank. I'm not a fan of nightmares, though. On your right. Oh, let's jump over there. Nice. Oh. Where's it at? Oh, it's behind me. Oh, there we go. There we are. Seen high praise? Uh, well deserved. Very well deserved, I will say that. Uh, if a game can strike emotion in me, whether it's laughter, tears, combination, or make me laugh or cry from laughing or laugh from crying, any of the above, uh, it deserves my praise. That's for certain. And the story is so good. If you played the 2018 game at all, Stove, uh, it's such a wonderful expansion on that story. It is very, very good. I would highly recommend it. Loved it enough that I would have started another playthrough after finishing it had I not gone on my honeymoon. That's fair. Uh, I would say that was the better of the two priorities, <laughs> by all means. And congratulations on your honeymoon. Uh, yeah. Corey, you beautiful human. Welcome in, dude. Welcome in, friend. How's it going? 
And you are doing two more DJ sets tomorrow? Am I correct in stating that? Uh, Corey just came back to Twitch after uh, an absence of just being way too busy with weddings uh, this year. Uh, which is a good thing. Which is a very, very good thing. Uh, so you have 1 o'clock tomorrow and 9.30 p.m. Central Time. Is that correct? Am I... Am I uh, Not far off the mark there. Uh, doing punk, rock, uh, and metal DJ sets. Excellent, dude. I'm very excited for that. Stream is going wonderful so far. We had a couple of uh, awesome raids from Emmy Vogue and also Stovetop here and uh, making some good progress into the game. 1 and 9.30. Found it. See, my memory does serve me sometimes. <laughs> what is it? Great Gefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on! It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Well, we're happy to have you, Stovetop. That's for sure. Don't worry, Lynch. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so... Oh, boy. Well, I appreciate <laughs> the attempt at humor. That little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing, <laughs> really. Oh, well, uh, can't all be winners. It's okay, Atreus. Uh, I will uh, give you a laugh. <laughs> there we go. There's got to be a way to clear those rocks. Get a better angle. Oh, hey. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, hey. Uh, that's where we came from, right? And we can't jump there. Aha. I see what's going on. So we need to clear this out. Boom, boom. All right. No, that doesn't work. Oh, hey, we can get, uh, there we go. That didn't work either, huh? What in the heck? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Looks like it can move now, but it still can't get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Sweet. Oh, highly recommend this game. It is so good. Uh, I am just nerding out on all the little things. Why did they trap it down here? half -giffers are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped yeah, in it's almost uh, kind of like Thor's hammer in that way. Uh, Any more than the light belongs to the light elf. You can throw it, and then you can call it back. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive... Are we hurting Dark Elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. Yeah, it's called the Leviathan Axe, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. And yes, the gameplay is so fluid. In there. <laughs> so <good. laughs> Hey, thanks for the holy sip. Thank you, thank you for the hydrate. Oh yeah. Tasty H2O. Well, I can't leave this loot behind. Gotta get all the loot. 
all the loot. Okay, let's see here. Oh, sweet. I got the matching uh, chest armor. I was wondering if I was going to pick that up. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite set so far. Heck yes. Hey, I appreciate that, dude. I appreciate that. So we need to free this thing from the surface. Uh, you know, let's go get our... <laughs> hey, there's our sled dogs. <laughs> Wait, I confused that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So I do Dark Souls on Monday nights. Uh, this is kind of my Dark Souls night. And then Wednesdays, we're doing God of War Wednesday. And currently working on Final Fantasy IV on Friday mornings. And it's been a treat. Final Fantasy IV, it's my first time through, and it's so very good. How many deaths did you have Monday? I had, and it said 35. I forgot to count the very last one. Uh, on the So on screen, on the VOD, it says 35. Uh, but in my about section of my channel page, it is accurate on 36. So I think I'm now at 391 for my playthrough of Dark Souls 2. Yeah, I got a, <laughs> a lot of deaths in that game. Oh, it is so very good. I, I've i played through uh, 1, 2, and 3 this year so far. And I got to say... That four is just, it takes the cake. Story-wise, it's just so good. Oh, oh, can I, ah, uh, I missed it. Let's just swing around real quick. Oh, I missed it again. Uh, let's try it one more time. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think this is where I needed to go. This little spot. Nope. That is not the right spot. Yeah, it definitely ups things lore-wise, that's for sure. Um, so it's different, yeah. So the North American 1, 2, and 3 were actually 1, uh, 4... Uh, let's see, North American 1, 2, and 3 were the Japanese uh, 1, 4, and 6, if I'm not mistaken. And then you also had just two, three, and four, five, and six elsewhere. Uh, but the North American one was, yeah, it was one, two, and three were the uh, Japanese one, four, and six. NTSC is two. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's exactly it. Enjoy your lurk, uh, Corey. Enjoy your pint. Enjoy your lurky lurk. Thank you for that, by the way. Yeah, it was really interesting that uh, they did that in their releases, but uh, I'm so happy that we have a chance to play the other games now. Three was really good. So two up things story-wise, I had a bit more story, but uh, there's definitely some weird leveling with two. You don't get true character levels. You, all of your levels are handled through. Uh, this is the spot. We can through equipment, the but I really like the magic leveling in two. Because the more you use spells, the more it leveled them up. So 2 was really cool in that regard. But if you don't get a certain weapon in the game, and I'm not going to spoil it for anybody who hasn't played the actual 2, um, it will make the final battle drag on way too long. <laughs> I missed the weapon in my playthrough. So it took me, uh, it took me roughly 40-some minutes to beat the final boss. That, that battle took that long. It flies? Sweet. Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye, perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our dark elf friends after all. Oh, this is beautiful. Thanks for bringing us out here. We'll have to do this kind of
kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered he just wants to spend time with you, lad? Oh, it's no. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. Oh, I have goosebumps. I don't know what to say. Thank you. This is heartfelt. Out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Oh, that brings a tear to my eye. That is just wonderful storytelling, and it's done through exploration, and this is a side mission that I'm on. It's not even one of the main missions. Oh, this game is so wonderful. That is so great. <laughs> uh, I think my mouse just died. Bear with me a second here. <laughs> I need to get this thing on the charger. <laughs> Bear with me just a minute. <laughs> Oh, what a wonderful game. And that's just a side mission, too. Kudos. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be singing their praises for this game for a long time. Uh, let's see here. Nice. There we go. There we go. Now we have mouse. Oh. oh, and we can uh, get to these little areas. Oh. Sweet. Still get the sled. Hey, come back here. Hey, come back here. <laughs> I don't know why they were running from me. I remember to ask but, uh, you about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Oh, hey, I can get this thing now, too. Okay. Is that flame ever going to go out? I need to be able to hit all three of those. Can I do that over here? I don't think I can get the right angle on it. Oh, maybe I can. Hey, look at that. Let's see there. Nice. It's going to be difficult to stay on main story missions with this game. Because the side missions are so wonderful. And the exploration is just so addicting. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? What difference did her life really make? Enough. We will continue later. Oh, hey, I can go through there now. Perfect. Sort of a harp. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. <laughs> uh, maybe not anymore, Mimir. <laughs> a miniature harp. Unplayable, of course. Likely meant to reflect Freyr's musical skill. It said that with a stringed instrument in his hand and a song on his lips, there was nothing he couldn't accomplish. No virgin too chaste, no warrior too wrathful. I'd like to imagine Freyr was smart enough to not resort to song and dance when it came to brokering a peace between the elves. That's what I'd like to imagine. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> that would be fun. Name that way. Okay. Was there a vantage point? I know I can hit... Oh, and then I just need to recall the axe back. There we go. Perfect. 
Wow. I swear, the more I play, the puzzles just kind of start to link together. Why? Ooh. Rond of Affliction. Power to unleash further ruin upon a cursed enemy. Nice. Train? Those are the only two things you do to distract yourself. They are not distractions. Oh, of course not. I just <laughs> thought it'd be nice to learn some music. You could teach me, and... No. It's stupid. Never mind. Yeah, we're definitely getting a deeper relationship between uh, Kratos and uh, Atreus, and this is just delightful. <laughs> Atreus, I've been considering your question about whether Groa's deception made a difference. I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Old. We will finish later. Looks like a lot of the sand is cleared up. But there's another storm out that way. Oh, we can't go that way yet. Another half gufa. Oh. Can we get this though? Nope. Gotta go out a bit. And then turn around. And oh man. Now if I recall, we were discussing how manipulating the details of a prophecy can wreak havoc on the believers. Oh jeez. Back in my homeland, there we go. I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical oh, no. magical. Aye, aye, <laughs> but was not so for him. Let this wait. Stay alert. I love the in unison. Physical or magical. You collected Kavasir's stories? Give them here. Huge fan. Oh, yeah. Whatever you need, I'll create. Slash uh, forward three waves of light that deal increased damage against enemies. Ooh. Uh, oh, I don't have the required materials. That's cool, though. Ooh, I can upgrade, uh... And Atreus? Fashionable! Nice. Tasteful! Oh, I need to Be equip careful. that lethal detonation, yeah. too. Let's go ahead Kratos? and equip that after we sell some stuff. I'll take them. Ooh, these will look fantastic in my storage chest. Did you, um, disinfect these? It's fine. <laughs> I'll do it. Here we go. I am, as always, at your servant. All right, armor, Atreus, accessory. Here we go. Let's go back here. And while we're doing our little warping here, I'll give you some puppy cam because we actually have a Lucy on camera now. Oh, and we can uh, pick up some stuff from the Odin's Ravens, the Raven Tree in uh, Niflheim. Let's uh, do that real quick. Mimir, I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul. And every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the lake of souls in Alfheim. 
where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. <laughs> that's comforting. That is comforting. Dug up some new blueprints for you. Like the father of all, we swung from the tree. Wisdom gained father, servitude gained we. Swung from the tree. What do you suppose that means? Oh, swung from the tree. So these, uh... Yep. So these were people. The ravens free their spirits somehow. Good to know. Free. Well, free of Odin's control anyway. Okay, so they were, they were hung by Odin as people. And then they, uh... He enslaved them as, as the ravens. That's interesting. Ooh, we got a new runic? Ooh, yeah. Let's do that. And we got another bit of that armor. So I'm going to go to those once I get the whole set. But we're going to go with the Radiance for now, because it looks heckin' cool. I'm a big fan of keeping, uh, like, whole armor sets together. Okay, story-wise... Oh! We can actually access that now? Well, it just has a, uh quest it doesn't actually uh okay that's Niflheim let's go back to Svartalfheim uh no not Svartalfheim not Midgard not Alfheim Oh, Sindri's house. Yeah, there we go. That's where I wanted to go. There we go. And if there's a little bit of story, well, we'll uh... I hope Tyr's had enough time to find his equilibrium or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. I never can be quite sure what the Giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the Giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is how you'll ever make Tyr believe it. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do a couple of uh, cutscenes and then uh, we might have to end stream. <laughs> Perhaps there was some confusion. This is for calling <laughs> me out here, not for when I am here. Yeah, if you ring it enough times, you can make him very angry, and it's very enjoyable. Ah, glad <laughs> to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Merry Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Thank you for the Merry Christmas there, Sword. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind. Oh, hey. Look at that little creature. Being locked up for so long. You're disappointed in me. A Die Hard is a Christmas movie, of course. It takes place over Christmas. And just like that, too, um, Iron Man 3 is a Christmas movie as well. I know a lot of Marvel fans aren't the biggest fan of uh, Iron Man 3. 
uh, but it is as well. And if you want to get technical, yes, exactly. Uh, that Batman movie is, of course, a Christmas movie. And also, also, Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. Because, and, you know, many places debate this, but it didn't the Fellowship leave Rivendale on Christmas Day? That's kind of part of the 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 story there but that's uh i believe that's canon correct me if i'm wrong but i read a few places that it was uh christmas day when the fellowship left uh rivendale so yeah also a christmas movie i never said that dress eat let's sit down at the table have ourselves some ale oh careful careful Thank you. That's uh that's Michael Keaton Batman, right? If I'm not mistaken, Michael Keaton uh Tim Burton Batman. Please don't attack me, but I've never been too big. That's fair. It's not for everybody, but I'm I'm big into it. <laughs> big fan of Lord of the Rings. Yeah, the Michael Keaton one. That is very, very good, Batman. I agree with you. That's one of my favorites, too. Mm. Enjoy. <laughs> Tyr looks like uh, Gandalf next to uh, the dwarves. <laughs> and the dwarves look like hobbits uh, next to Tyr. Friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. I bet he's going to love it. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a <laughs> word. A word that clouds your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jotunheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But, Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... You oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. <laughs> I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Yeah, you got the wrath of your father in you, kid. They are very long movies. I will say that, uh, Candy, especially the extended versions. I think the extended version of Lord of the uh, Lord of the Rings: Return of the King is like over four hours long. I think something crazy like four, four and a half hours long. So definitely understand. Definitely understand. Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. 
Get out of here already. Already gone. <laughs> yeah, what did you find? Like Atreus might need some Lord of the Rings soundtrack to help him sleep. Okay, I feel like I need to find out what goes on here story-wise. What are you? I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? Oh, this is cool. I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Feel something about it or shut up right now. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories, and not nice ones. You broke the gate. That was our only way to Yonahan. What do you want? Let's go, Druma. I don't understand. Whatever, whatever. 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 Oh, man. Hey, don't run whatever. off. Whatever. Whatever. Can you tell me whatever. where whatever. I am? Whatever. 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 This is one heck of a nightmare. Whatever. 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 Will you stop? <laughs> 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 I gotta get out of here. Okay. Yeah, something tells me that's not the way. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're gods. We oh, can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Uh. oh, man. Why is this happening? This is a much better knife than Mother's. Please stop. I'm just speechless. This uh, entire section is God, just so well done. Uh, easy. Huh. Hey, where are you going? Follow you? Yeah, there's uh, a lot that they've done in this that they just really, really uh, took what happened Jay, in the 2018 God of War. See you around the other side? 
and just really ramped it up story-wise. This is phenomenal. Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. So, where are we going? I know that uh, the 2018 God of War is on PC. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. If you don't have is access to a PlayStation 4. Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here. I mean, suppose I must have. I'm and then uh, this this one is also available on PS4, but it's uh, I've been playing it on PS5, and it here. is so beautiful. So very beautiful. Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Well, Maybe always follow your nose. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you tell me if you were going to eat me. <laughs> That's a Aww. joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. Wow. This is heckin' cool. Through here? Are we gonna turn into a wolf? Please say yes. I mean, he turned into a bear early game. Yeah, it's Boy of War now, Arthur. I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> Welcome back. The pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Wow, memories that's of the past, cool. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. <laughs> oh, it's really you. I don't want to spoil too much of this for myself. Catch you later. Hey, Candy, thank you so much for joining. Have a wonderful night and get some good sleep and uh, hopefully catch you next time. But can we get some hearts and chat for Candy, please, as uh, she departs our company? Always good to see you. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, you know who I am? <laughs> Thank you for the dancing emotes. Those are fun. What's wrong? I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. You look weirder than I imagined. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Um, was that mean? Mm, a bit. Kind of. Damn it. <laughs> I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. Oh, we got some, uh... Chicago dreams happening at the moment. Got the little, uh, the sleep, the sleeping barks. Oh, Roxy dog. That's a good girl. 
a good girl, Roxy. <laughs> yeah, uh, he just met her, though, Arthur. It might be a little too soon for that. Might be a little too soon. Might be a little soon. Oh, big stretch, Lucy. That's a big stretch. Big stretch for a little dog. All right, I'm going to wait till puppy cam uh, pops off the screen, and then we'll continue with the, the cinematic here, and we'll probably end things as soon as this uh, cutscene is done. Because I do need a little bit of sleep. I do have work tomorrow, so... Here we are. And weird can be good. Uh, weird is good. Let's start over. I'm Angle Boda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answer soon enough, Loki. R right. Is that not your name? <laughs> no. It is my name. I'm Loki. Yep. Sleep is for during the week, Arthur. That is right. <laughs> All right. Well, we will continue with that cliffhanger next time. Uh, so that'll be more next week. I'm very excited. This game is wonderful. It is so heckin' good, and it is very, very difficult to stop playing. Because this is just a wonderful, wonderful story. All right. Gonna pop off the game here, give you a little bit of holiday music in the background. And while we find somebody to raid off to, I'm gonna get you a little bit of puppy cam in the meantime. Oh, hi, Lucy. Hi, puppy dog. Hi, puppy to dog. How is it going? All right, who's online tonight? I'm gonna try to refrain from raiding people playing uh, God of War Ragnarok unless I can tell if they're earlier in the game because I definitely want to avoid spoilers. It looks like their backdrop has shifted a little bit. Uh, they're gonna be decorating a little more this weekend. Little, little puppy dogs. Uh, let's see here. You know, Mighty Beercules is on. We haven't raided Beercules in a while. Playing some Pokemon. Yeah, let's see. He's been on for a while. All right. You know what? We're going to raid over to him uh, anyway. Don't make it on Friday. You have two things besides the main story you can do. Um, I did uh, do the Yong's wife um, side quest uh, last time, Arthur. And I also made it to the uh, Land of Summons is kind of where I left things off uh, on Friday. Um, but we're getting close to the end of the game, it feels like, in Final Fantasy IV. Uh, I think we have, what... At least two more streams? No, three. Yeah, we have three more streams of Final Fantasy IV. Hoping to finish it out uh, this calendar year so we can start uh, 2023 with Crisis Core. Uh, oh, yep, that's right. That's right. I did take that to the blacksmith. So that was the very last thing we did on stream uh, last week. That is correct. Uh, I have some thank yous to get out of the way here. Uh, we need to thank, uh, our raiders tonight. So Emmy Vogue with the huge raid. Thank you so, so very much for that. Please go share some support to Emmy next time she's live. Also, Stovetop gave us a heckin' awesome raid as well. Go say hello next time they're live. That would be much appreciated as well. Let's see, we had the sub from... From Leah. Thank you so much for that sub, Leah. That is much, much appreciated. And uh, all the new follows, all the new friends we made tonight. Thank you all so very, very much. 
Tonight was fun. I really had a blast and uh, hopefully we'll see more of you in the future. And again, we got Final Fantasy IV this Friday, a special 600 follower celebration stream on Saturday. It's gonna be Dead Space 1 and a movie night to follow. We're watching Krampus in the Discord. So if you're not part of the Discord, there's my socials, there's a link in there to take you to that. And we're gonna kick off this raid to the mighty, the mighty Beercules. We're gonna get you some raid messages here. Please, please use those. It's Wooly's Happy Hollow Raid. And there's one for subs and non-subs alike. Feel free to use those to let uh, Beercules know where you came from. And we're gonna share some support to our good friend. All right. See if I can type this correctly here. Hercules. Perfect. Now scroll up, make sure I didn't miss any uh, messages from you, Arthur. All right, as we kick off this raid, I'm going to wish you a fond farewell, the well, the way I do every time. But take care of yourselves, which means uh, maybe stay hydrated, okay? Get plenty of sleep, or as much as you can get. And also, uh, take care of each other. It's the time of year where it's uh, any simple act of kindness you can do uh, for those that you know. It goes a long, long way this time of year. It really does. And until Final Fantasy IV on Friday morning, bright and early, my friends, cheers. Have a wonderful night.